In this video, let's take a look at how to display totals above a stacked column chart in Microsoft Excel. So here's our data for creating the chart, and we want to make sure that we include the total with this data because we are going to select it when we create the chart. Selecting all the data, including the total, go to the Insert menu, and insert a stacked column chart. When the chart is selected, you'll see this plus sign off to the right. And when you click on that, you can show data labels. And also, I'm going to move the legend over to the right so that it is in the same order as the stacked bars. And this is the part where I usually get confused, but what I want is for the data that is along the horizontal axis to actually be stacked in the bar. And so if this happens, then select the chart and under the chart design ribbon, you can switch the row and column. Now that I have the data stacked the way I want, you can see that the total is a bar at the top and I don't want it to be a bar, I just want it to show the total label. Again, with the chart selected on the chart design ribbon, I will change the chart type. On the all charts tab, scroll down to the very last option, which is a combo chart. Here, Excel tries to guess what kind of combo chart I want, and you can see that it has changed my chart to a clustered column. So for each of the categories, I'm going to change it back to a stacked column. And then for the total, I do want that to be a line. So if, for example, it shows as a stacked column, then just change it to the line. Then click OK. I'm going to select only the total labels, right-click on them, and click on Format Data Labels from the menu that appears. This brings up the right-hand column where I am going to change the label position to be above the line. And then I'm going to select just the line, or I can go to this Label Options drop-down menu and select the Series Total as opposed to the Series Total Data Labels. With the line selected, I will click on the Fill and Line option and select No Line. And for the last step, in the legend, you'll see that we still have an entry for the total. So I'll click on the legend once, and then I'll click again just on the total text so that only that is selected and press Delete. The nice thing about using this strategy is if the data changes, the changes will automatically be reflected in the chart. So if the number of pre-owned sales for the cars was not 145, but maybe 445, because our total is automatically calculated in the table with a formula, Excel will also display the new total above the chart. And of course, we can make more formatting changes such as making the totals bold and even hiding the other data labels and the horizontal grid lines. And by the way, this works on a stacked column chart. If you want to add totals to a stacked row chart where the bars are horizontal, that requires a different strategy. So I made a separate video for that, which I will link below if you're interested. I do hope this was helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.